fishing for catfish and I've got to catch some bait. So I'm going to put my camera on my head, throw my net in that crazy water right there and see if I can catch some uh, minnows. I need about 20 to 25 minnows, but uh, we'll see what happens here. So stay right there. I've got a six foot net right here. <clears throat> Quarter inch mesh. A lot of these are three eighths, but I'm after small old minnows that'll sometimes go through a three eighths. So uh, this is a quarter inch mesh. I know it's noisy here because that it rained last night, got the rivers up, creeks up, brought the minnows up, I hope. Here we go. Good catch. Really good catch right there. I'm gonna put them out on the on the pavement here because sometimes I catch unwanted things that I can't keep for legal reasons. But these are all legal right here. Got a good um, green-eared perch, or I call them black perch. Good one, a lot of shiners here. These are all good. Good, 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 good baits. Probably got enough, actually. But I'll probably throw one more because I can keep them alive. I've got an aerator in my bucket. Yeah, these are great baits here. Great baits. We call these right here. My dad always called them steelback shiners, and I don't have a clue what they're called. But they're a pretty good bait. <laughs> don't let them, uh, it's okay if they're dead to put them on for catfish. But if you let them sit around too long, they get mushy and they rot real quick. I just call these shiners. They got all kinds of names for these little rascals. I think I can keep 50 of these. I don't know. I got 25 or 30 in there. All right, I'm going to throw one more shot. Here we go. Put this on my wrist. Roll this up. Again, a six foot net. I don't throw much bigger net for sure. Not here. It's too rocky. Gotta watch it get hung up, and that creates a major sequence. There we go. Got that in the swift water. Probably not gonna be any good. Oh well. Got too much. I got it in the swift water. Can't do that. Here we go. Right out there is my target. There you go. That'll have some. Woo! Felt like it got hung up, but didn't. Yep. <laughs> Good bunch of minnows right there. And that'll do. That'll do, pig. See that little bluegill right there? See him? How cute he is? I'll turn him loose. But these are not so fortunate. They are going to become catfish food. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's a good mess of minnows. I'm gonna keep them alive till I get down there. All right, see you in the river. 
All right, I made it to a tributary, a small creek that runs into Stockton Lake in southwest Missouri. A lot of times this creek right here is really super low and it don't have much water. But right now, this time of the year, water comes up in here, creek's high, catfish come up in here. So I'm going to see if there's any catfish up in here. I'm gonna grab me a minnow right here, put some in a bag. a big old nice again we call them steelback shiners I don't know it's a nice looking uh, bait right here I worm on there like that I'm gonna come all the way down to the tail and pull that hook out just like that right there now catfish hit a minnow they hit it hard why I don't know but they're aggressive so I'm just gonna toss this out there you don't have to go very far I'm in a lot of brush here but it's the way it falls about right there in the middle and the brush comes in handy some when you can use it use it as a uh, rod holder it's kind of nice too when you have brush like that you see that brush wiggling you know you're getting a bite all right now that lines out i'm gonna put another one out real quick Okay, what do we got hooked there? Here we go. I'll put another minnow in here only because I need to see if these catfish are hitting right now. And then I'm gonna put one out there with a worm. So I'll put my three, that'll give me my three poles, which I can have here. Got a big sinker on there, but it slips. It's a slip sinker. I'm gonna put this on the end of this limb right here. About right there. Let it rest on that log. I've got two really good setups right here. Now, if the catfish are in here, I will catch them. If the catfish aren't in here, you'll never see this video. So, let's just watch. I'll be right back. Getting a good hit on one right here. Getting a good hit. I think he's actually got it in his mouth, so. I got him. It's a catfish, you know the way he's rolling. And a pretty decent one, actually. Three or four pound, probably. Oh yeah. Three pounds, at least. size I'm looking for right there that's a good pole catch catfish ah! dead minnow there's the head of that dead minnow right there I'm just turning my head keep an eye on my other pole sometimes when it's like this you can't really keep up but that size right there fit fine Another minnow on here. We got ice in this bag. This is a shiner. Okay. Now we wait. Well, one catfish, that's just one catfish is all I caught today. They weren't up in that creek very good, which is not uncommon. This is my bait tank right here. I got a lot of bait in that bucket back there. That's where I keep my catfish for three or four days before I fillet them, unless I want to eat a fresh one. Now I'm going to eat a fresh one. And I'm going to fillet this fresh one out here. Again, he's a fresh caught fish, still alive. Two and a half pounds, probably. Just a good eating size. But I'll play him out and show you how I do it. 
seconds for fun. But um, I'll get going on him here. I'll be uh, right back with you. All right, I'm ready to start. Ready to start this uh, process. I'm gonna have to kill this fish first. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump him on the head here with a hard rod right here. It's a solid steel rod. Makes it nice for killing catfish because you can hit them right across the head there. And uh, it kills them immediately. And it's a real heavy rod. You don't worry, have to worry about missing this way or that way. And I try to hit them right there above the gills. And that usually takes them out pretty good. So here we go. See what I mean? Now we have a dead fish. Oh, you didn't see that? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to start back here in front of this gill. There's, there's some meat right here on this shoulder right here I'm going to try to save. I'm going to try to save a little bit of this meat on the shoulder. Yeah, and I'm just going to cut into it just like this. And all I'm doing is filleting that meat off that shoulder right there. It's just a good hunk of meat right there. A lot of people waste it because they want to fillet in front of that, uh, or in front of that shoulder where that shoulder is hard as a rock. I don't blame them. But I take this shoulder out right here, as you can see. See that I got a piece of skin on there, but it's not easy. It's not hard to take that off. I'm gonna fillet it off of there like that. And that is a really nice piece of meat right there. It is, I say, it is. That bug is too nasty. I'll lay it right there for now. Chuck that. Okay, now then, I can go right here behind this, in front of this fin down here, and not worry about all this, because I've got all this already. I kept it, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna press hard so I can stay against that spine. Now I'm going to fillet this off. It's a female. She had eggs. Which is not uncommon this time of the year. It's what happens. There's a good fillet. Okay. But I'm not done with this fillet. I'm going to get this red streak off of here. Ninety, get ninety, ninety-five percent of that streak off. Ninety-five percent is what you got to do. Get that off of there. You're good. Cut this little streak out right here. Boom. Now I'm going to take his rib out, and this rascal is ready to go. This is going to make a nice fillet. Now he's got a little fat right here. Got to get rid of that fat. Little fat streak right there. That's nasty. I ain't kidding you. I'm leaving that fillet whole because I'm going to cook it for somebody here shortly. I'll show you that just for fun. And you don't need to watch all this right here. Same thing I'm going to do. Just cut this shoulder meat out. I know it's a boring watch. The same thing again. So how about if I just shut you off till I come back? All right, I'm getting the belly meat. Belly meat right here. There's a little bit here I need to save. Make a couple of cuts like that. Kind of stay against the rib here. I can feel it. The rib cage. Cut that in front of that fin. Okay, I'll chuck this for coon bait. <clears throat> now, this is the belly right here. It's got the skin on it. I'm going to take that off. Now, see that silver? Got to get it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to keep that in one piece. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a teeny bit of meat here so I can go in here and get that silver skin off. It is kind of like just filleting it off. See, it's gone. That's a really good piece of meat right there. A lot of people forget about that, but 
it's good on the cat on our channel cat and it's delicious silver skin gone it is delicious on a flathead all right we got these two beautiful fillets here and i'm going to do something with them here in a minute you'll see if you stay with me okay i'm going to cook them for one thing and then uh, i'm going to take them and give them to somebody here in just a second that's a good pile of meat right there okay good catfish stuff right there battered in zatarans i'm gonna take it out and pop it in this this big old fillets i normally don't use them this big but these fillets right here are going to be wonderful 350 degrees these little pieces the the um the belly meat member all that that's what that is shoulder right there that's what that is and i think that's all all right good that goes there i had it in milk i just like to put it in milk it coats it really good and then you can uh um put it in your battery or whatever it is again i use zatarans because i like it so much i got a well there it is didn't know what i'd do with my ladle but these are cooking up good i'm gonna let them cook for just a little bit and i got some pretty thick pieces in there yeah and little pieces cook faster but all right i'm gonna let that cook and we'll take them out and take them to somebody and i'll show you how that works all right i'm here at my church i'm going to surprise some people with some fresh catfish they have no idea i'm bringing this catfish in none i know my senior pastor loves catfish our church administrator hmm she may not be big on catfish, but she may uh, try some. I don't know. All right. This is called the Boulevard. Lay my stuff down there. All right. I'm doing this office right here. Office area. Make our way back into here. Reverend Brent Hurt. What the Sam Hill? Could I see you, please? Yeah. I, know. You, I knew I was in trouble. In He's texting office. me. In your office, bro. Oh. <laughs> He's got the camera. Look out. <laughs> oh. I want you to do something for me. Okay. By the way, you're on YouTube being watched all around yeah, the world. Let's go. I got you some fresh catfish fillets, and you Shut are my up. taste tester. Shut up. No, really. Oh, come They're on. still warm. Come on. This, now, he, there we go, folks. Mm. This is going to find out if catfish is good or not. Oh, my gosh. Is it good? You know it's good. <laughs> you know it's right. Now, let me see. Let me try mm. this with Jen. Eat that piece. I'll, I'll bring this back to you. This mm. is yours. Now, I'm going to see what Jen does. Mm. She, she's probably going to lose her mind when I try to put her in. Hello, I need you to do me a favor, please. I need you to take a little piece of this and test it. It's catfish. Okay. Fresh. I, I can't right now. Okay, get ready. <laughs> she has to put her teeth in. I have to take them out. I have to take what? Them out. Have you ever heard of taking your teeth no. out to eat? Well. <laughs> this is Missouri, right? This is Missouri. <laughs> it happens. Oh, this is. <laughs> I love it. It's actually not my teeth. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, it wasn't your teeth? It's not my actual teeth. <laughs> you do have teeth. All right. Take one of them. Yeah, just take a small one because I know how you are. You want to eat a whole lot of food. This is being washed all over the world. Would you please try that? People in Switzerland are watching this video. It's ridiculous. Could you not? <laughs> So if you give a good report, I'll leave. It tastes really good. It really does? Yes, you're not, really you're not just saying that? No, I really love it. Oh, okay. The taste test is finished. <laughs> and this man here will finish. Here, I will sure. take it all. Yeah, sure. yeah. All one. right. So it passed the test. Uh huh. All right. Good deal. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Come on, Appreciate you watching this video. It's me and you outside, one word.
See you on the next one, right around the corner.